hey docs, I've been having pretty bad acne and I think it might be hormonal, but I'm not really sure. I've literally tried every product known to man, but the acne is still there. Are there any signs that indicate that it could be a hormonal imbalance? And if it is my hormones, is there anything I can do to treat it? We're here with Lisa and dermatologist Dr. Howard Liu from Cedar sinai in Beverly Hills. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And this is the hormonal show. So you look at Lisa, can you tell just by her, the distribution of acne on her face, if it might be hormonal or not? Yes, absolutely. So you hit her right on the head. If you see where Lisa's acne is on her face, it's concentrated on the lower part in the jaw, the chin, and the neck area. And if you look at that, it's kind of like a beard. So we know the beard is a hormone-sensitive part of our face. During puberty, as guys, we grow mm -hmm. a beard there. But women have the same sensitivity to hormones, and you can break out into hormone acne in this location. Now, a second clue is the type of acne that she has. Hormones pump oil deep into the hair follicle, and it clogs it down low. So you get big, tender pimples that don't ever come up to a head. And they're very frustrating. And, and that's why topical treatments aren't really going to help. And you've tried everything, you said. Yes, I've tried everything. And the reason why is the cause of her acne wasn't being addressed by the medications. So in her case, hormones are pumping oil into, oil gland, into the hair follicle, and she's not getting better. So if you think about hormone therapy, which could be a birth control pill, or a hormone blocker such as spironolactone, you can decrease the oil stimulation, and she won't get these kind of breakouts. So in your practice, if you see someone like Lisa, who's tried all these other things, you automatically start thinking about hormonal imbalances, and you will actually treat then Exactly. With so, you know, I'll, I'll take a, a thorough history of her health, but I think she would be a great candidate for hormone therapy. And if I can ask for the before and after of my patients. Yeah, let's do it. This young lady has very similar acne to Lisa, and after three months on spironolactone, that's her face on the right side. So I think there's a lot of hope for you. Do you see that? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> so is this something that you would really like to get taken care of? Absolutely, yeah. Well, Dr. Liu here has offered to give you some complimentary treatments to try to get this under control. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Liu, so much. And Lisa, best of luck to you.